uh, area of triangles 9.3 uh, area of uh, triangles uh, we can usually write half uh, a b sin c it means just uh, let's say this is a uh, a b c triangle a b c triangle now a c n c c a b c a. so half a a b sin c now i'm going to give a proof of this one now having this idea i'll keep this away and i want to get sin c into the sign i want to use sin c because that's the one i want now sin c I can see BC. Okay, I will draw BC first. Then, then A. So this is going to be A front of A, uh, B angle front of a simple B. This is C. Now, if you want to use C, then. Uh, don't touch that any uh, you won't draw a perpendicular now don't select uh, okay then you have to select a perpendicular to BC hmm. so we are drawing a perpendicular to BC right as a result you can see that C is in the triangle but you should never try to, if you want to use C, you can write a perpendicular by crossing C. So that's the important thing when you draw uh, to give a proof. You want to use C. Now that's fine. Let's take this one as H. Then uh, area is half a base times height so half a base is I will take A and height is H now half a A now what is H H you can find using C not B will work the later the other one so using C we can find H. When you come and stand up here, front of 90 degrees, this is going to be hypotenuse. And when you stand up here, you can see this is opposite. Then opposite and hypotenuse ratio is sine. So sine this angle is C, sine C equal H divided by B. So H equal B sine C cross multiply h equal b sin c then i am going to submit here half a a so it is here half a a times h mean now what b sin c half a a b sin c from here also you can go to the other one if we want if you plan to use b then instead of half a a and when we come to this triangle i am writing i'll come and stand up here then i can see opposite and this is a hypotenuse so sine b equal uh, c over uh, h over c then h equals c sine b cos multiply. Now you can write half a, a times now c sine b. Half a, a b sine c or a c sine b. So I give extra one. So we really need half a, a b sine c. So I finish half a, a b sine c. And but mean for when we come to here if you select the other triangle it is going to be half a 
ac sin b now assume if we want to do differently this one i will take t and i want to write this is p m n distance now i need to use uh, to prove this one using t how do we do so then i am drawing a line like this perpendicular line because i need t into a uh, be an angle in this smaller triangle then i will take this is h then uh, area is area half a base times height half a base is n height is going to be uh, uh, height times h now what is h now when you consider this triangle right, this is opposite higher sign uh, t equal h over uh, m so h equal m sin t now we have substituted half a n m sin t now did you notice did you notice that if you if we want to write okay if it is n and m where is the n and m located n and m are the base uh, used to make this t angle in other way if you want to write the area one thing is you need to know two distance and also that and the angle and it should be and those two lines make this angle it means the angle should be in between m and n now when you look at this one i have this is 40 and 10 and 5 can i straight find the area of this triangle no i can't i have to use different techniques to find it but Apart from that, straight away I can't use this formula half a b sin c or this one about saying why because I know angle and I know that next to it, but this one I don't know because this length I need to know, I don't need this length, but from sine rule we can work out differently and we can find this angle and like that we can work out indirectly. But straight away I can't put this one because I don't know this length. If I know this length, okay, let's say 12, then simply I can write half a 12 times 10 sine 40. Another one. This is 10 and this is 12. Um, similar thing again now you have two uh, distance but you don't know the angle in between in that case you can't write again straight and so what is your conclusion the conclusion is if you want to find the area of a triangle straight using half a b sin c you should have a length and another length or known to base and the angle should be in the middle between those two known lengths then i can write half a 10 times 12 times sine 45